the first candle for Advent is lit, plus a live webcast next week to celebrate the paperback book and audiobooks are now online. This podcast covers a lot of important events this week as 2023 comes to a close. Plus, I'm hosting a live Zoom Q&A at 7 p.m. Sunday, December 10th, and then another one on Monday the 11th, again at 7 p.m. I hope you can make one of these half-hour specials. First, a brief sidebar for another reflection that I hope you will take a moment to consider. On December 7, 1941, the sneak attack at Pearl Harbor by Imperial Japan occurred and it caused the loss of 2,300 military personnel and also civilians who were killed in that surprise attack. Following that, there was a moment in American history where United States citizens unified and truly worked together to protect the freedoms that we still share today. My uncle was there that fateful day. I occasionally think and wonder about what he must have saw and how he felt as a 19-year-old young man just beginning to explore what life had to offer. Fortunately for him, he survived, though his ship was damaged and he had to go transfer to another ship. But he died shortly after World War II. I never saw him. May God rest his soul. This week celebrates the major feast day to honor the conception of the Virgin Mary at the end of the week and also the appearance of the Virgin Mary to St. Juan Diego at Tapiac Hill in Mexico City back in the year 1531. The apparition of Our Lady of Guadalupe is celebrated starting on Saturday, December 9th. Now before the second part of this podcast begins... Many of you have been asking for the paperback release of my book, The Very Fine Light, and now it's available on Amazon. Once it's ordered, they'll ship it directly to you. And, of course, the audio version is there, as well as on Audible and Apple. It's a celebration for me with these new variants, so why not do a live Zoomcast where potential readers and readers can ask me questions about the book? Plus, I'll give some updates on my third book, Now in the Works. I hope you'll join me. And for those of you who aren't familiar with this book, it's a contemporary novel about a village on the verge of bankruptcy and Randy, a free-willing village employee who's always in trouble for speaking his mind. I will forward the Zoom links for these Sunday and Monday evening Zoom events in a special blog post. And of course, you can always check on my website, nicosteves.com, for these links. So good luck on your continued journey in readying for the birth of Christ into the world. This episode continues with part two of a mini-series on how to extend the Christmas holiday season. The reality of our modern-day Christmas is that, for some people, the excitement of Santa Claus coming to town for Christmas Day has become disconnected with the joy of the birth of Christ coming into the world on the big day. And the good news is that it doesn't take much effort to physically overcome this reality. Fortunately for all of us, the way towards the light is found by simply going to church during the season of Advent and the Nativity Fast. But it's more than simply going to church. It's being in church, being in the moment, being in the spirit, and bringing children into that same light by letting the children witness the nativity within the church environment and by reading the story of the nativity. And so in these weeks before Christmas Day, let's take stock of what we know in respect to the religious aspects of Christmas and the aspects of what we do in preparation for the way for our Christmases. Almost ready to give birth to Jesus, the Madonna and Joseph are preparing for the journey to Bethlehem, where they're required to be. As for us nowadays, families, particularly with children, are shopping after work to ready the household for the Christmas holiday. Meanwhile, back in time, back in Nazareth, Joseph and the Madonna are gathering essentials to take for their trek on the road. 
the journey will be slower than normal because of the Madonna's condition. Can they make it to Bethlehem before the big day? Will the journey be safe? And here in modern day, we're gathering the essentials necessary for putting on a Santa Claus style Christmas day. For us, our essentials during those shopping sprees include shopping for presents, include putting up Christmas trees, decorating the inside of the house with holiday ornaments, stringing up lights outside, maybe even writing Christmas cards, getting tickets for travel or making plans to attend traditional holiday events. For her part, the Madonna must rest up in preparation for the travel in the journey towards the start of the new life. Whereas for our part, here in the weeks before the holiday, we seem to have to be on the go constantly. We find ourselves in crowds with others. We're being squeezed together. Everyone's clock is ticking down in preparation for the same big day. Joseph and Mary's journey will be about 100 miles in length. They travel alone since their pace will need to be a bit slower than normal due to the delicate nature of those last days before giving birth. Our journey is from work to home, to the mall, to specialty stores, to family and friends' homes. We find ourselves busy with all sorts of extra activities, including baking, children's holiday activities, once a year work gatherings, and gift wrapping. The goal for the Madonna and Joseph is to get to Bethlehem before the overlapping deadline of reporting for the government census survey and getting there before her due date. And in honor of their service to the world, our goal is to bring to our homes a worthy celebration honoring the birth of Jesus by bringing joy through gift giving to our loved ones and hopefully also to those in need. And we know how successful the journey of the Madonna and Joseph was for humanity. Will our work be successful in all our preparations for celebrating the bringing of the light into the world? Can we overcome the struggles in our daily lives to bring those close to us a bit of enjoyment and to honor the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who came into this world through the Madonna on Christmas Day? Seldom anymore is the time for contemplation, the time for stepping back to take a breath. Boosting us can be found by taking time for spiritual preparation with the prayers and meditations of Advent or the Nativity Fast, as mentioned in part one of this mini-series last time. And the prayers, meditations, and the going without bring us closer to loosening up those pressures that surround us and it allows for the heart and soul to come forward to bring us a chance to get closer to the star that really shines starting on Christmas Day and on to the 12 days of the celebration of the birth of Christ. My new book, The Very Fine Light, is available on Amazon.com. Please feel free to contact me at nicosteves.com. That's N-I-K-O-S Steves, S-T-E-V-E-S, dot com. If you like this episode and for more, share them with friends and consider William J. Walsh's book, Heaven's Bright Queen, Apparitions and Shrines of Heaven's Bright Queen. This is Nico Steves. Thank you. See you next time.